Hey everyone, hope everyone had a good day yesterday. Uh, I know I talked about it. We had a really good day before the rain came in, but obviously it's still a little misty this morning. We had a fair amount of rain last night, obviously. So it's pretty much sopping wet out here. Uh, obviously not gonna be able to do any kind of mowing today. But good news is I got things that we can do when it's wet. It's just kind of misty right now. Hopefully the rain, the heavy rain will hold off or any heavy rain that may come by. But anyway, y'all, I got uh, a, <clears throat> see, I got a straw job uh, that I got a, I won't be able to finish it because I don't have enough straw, but I got some straw to put out at one of my HOA accounts that's included into the, the contract. So that's something we do twice a year. So I need to get started on it. Uh, we'll, be able to, we'll have enough to put around the houses and get started on some of the big areas. And then I got two, two pressure washing jobs. I mentioned before, pressure washing is a great service to have, especially for days like today when it's too wet. To obviously mow but i mean it's perfectly fine to obviously do do pressure washing on a day like today with the grass being too wet we're going to do a couple back porches We've got two back porches and uh the back side of a house we're going to spray with bleach and clean off the vinyl uh vinyl portions of the back side of the house and the gutters so it'll be an easy little job and uh make some decent money doing that and uh also here my my neighbors we've been working on some edging putting down some mulch and she's got some bushes that she wants to plant in the back. So we're gonna finish that up. And at, once once we do that, uh, excuse me, uh, we're gonna go to my wood yard and uh, split some firewood for the day. So I'll get some footage, uh, some of those things I'm sure, and uh, talk about some of those things. But yeah, y'all just make sure, you know, as you grow your business, especially that you can set yourself up with these jobs when it's you know days like today when it's really wet outside because obviously you don't want to try not to get to the point where you're just staying at home doing nothing you want to try to be making some money and that's what we're going to do today so looking forward to it need to get these jobs done and i'll get some footage hey y'all uh, we just got done doing the straw at the hoa one of the hoas that i manage uh probably put out about 40 to 50 rolls now we're at my neighbor's house as you can see i've already got the front pretty big yard landscape project we've been working on uh, we've already put out this edging and I actually like this edging It's pretty nice and uh, fairly easy to install and whatnot. It's like a rubbery tire used tire top uh, Material I guess but it looks pretty good here Now you see this one over here Got it done I was able to do a nice little oval shape, but yeah, so we're gonna have to finish up as you can see you got a lot of mulch so you got to put a uh, and we're going to the back here as you said, we got to put the uh, landscape, the new landscape uh, edging around here. We're going to take up this rubber stuff as Hunter's doing right now. And then we're going to put the, the new edging down. Then we'll come in the back and uh, <clears throat> we'll have to put down some weed mat. Uh, once we do that, we'll go ahead and install the edging and uh, put in the mulch, as you can see. So it's already got a little bit of weed mat on there, but it wasn't installed correctly when it was done originally. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put some new weed mat on top. And she also has some bushes she wants to install. So we'll put the weed mat down first, put the edging down, install the bushes, and then we'll uh, uh, put the mulch down. Yeah, y'all, you know, I got a work cut out for us. We'll get this knocked out and uh, I'll get some footage, like I said. Thank you. 
Hi y'all. I mean, I think that's a decent job. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not an expert when it comes to laying the weed mat. We don't do that a lot, but I feel like I got it down pretty good. I mean, obviously putting it around the bushes, you know, I tried to tack it down as good as I could, as flat as possible. I mean, it would be laying straw on the top. And before we do that, obviously we'll be putting this edging out on the side here where the line of the grass and the uh, bed meets. So we're putting that edging to kind of tamp it down even more on the side, but yeah. And obviously once we get the, the mulch laid and everything, I think it'll, it'll look fine. But yeah, maybe not perfect, but uh, I think it's good enough. All right guys, we're putting this edging out, me and Hunter. We're gonna knock it out real quick and I'll set you up and we'll get a good view of us going down this, uh, this line here. It should be good and straight. Should get some good video of it. But yeah, it's uh, the first time I've ever put this stuff out. I did put some out over the weekend. It's not that hard. Like I said, it's a rubber used tire material. So what we do is, is we take these little anchors to attach them as we go down. We'll just stick an anchor in the end right here in this hole, just push it in and we'll attach as we go down the line here. So as you can see, they got these little plastic, uh, I don't know if they're, I guess they're more rubber than plastic, but they're pretty hard. So I'll nail those in with a, with a rubber mallet into the ground and kind of straighten it out as they go down. But anyway, y'all, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, not that hard. We're gonna try to get it as straight as possible. Don't want it to look wavy. But yeah, we'll get in there and get it looking good. Then uh, we'll be planting some plants. And once we plant the plants, we'll put the mulch down. Hey guys, we just finished up. Uh, I don't do a lot of this kind of thing. Uh, I primarily do maintenance as far as mowing and trimming bushes, that kind of stuff. Not a lot of landscaping, but oh, this little job turned out pretty good. We ended up planting several little bushes that she laid out, obviously to go along with the uh, edging. In the mulch, obviously we did that last. Gotta spruce up a few places. We'll kind of knock that off whenever I'll tell them to make sure to water and it'll come off. But yeah, looks good. Thought it turned out pretty well. I think they'll be happy. But anyway, it's a pretty big job, a lot of work. Over here, we just put mulch down. Uh, I raked up some of the straw that's underneath these containers here and put some weed mat down. Yeah, y'all, plan. we planted those two things. Yeah, Hunter and Justin did a good job. So we all made it happen, teamwork. We get this thing done. Now we gotta, later on, we'll start we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna take all the pine straw out, put some mat down and stuff. And over here, got a big section we're gonna do later. Yeah, y'all thought it turned out good. 
Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to do a uh, pressure washing job. Like I said, it's a great thing to do when it's wet, too wet to mow. And actually we just got some rain earlier, the sun's coming out, but yeah, Mr. Farrell uh, was really happy for me to come by today. About to get this job done, as you can see. It's just gonna be, it ain't gonna take me very long. Got this back porch right here. It's, uh, I'm assuming it's sandstone. But anyway, it's gonna look really good. I'm curious to see how it looks when I get it washed off good. And as you can see, the gutters are pretty dirty. So I'm gonna spray it down with bleach first, the gutters, and uh, it'll actually eat everything up to where I really don't even have to worry about washing it off that much. But I'll go ahead and get what I can with the pressure washer itself once it sits on it for a while. But yeah, I'm gonna get this part of the gutters and this little walkway right here, get it looking good. We'll see how it looks when I finish up and I'll get some video. Hey y'all, so you saw me just uh, splitting up that pecan wood. I tell you what, that's some tough wood to split at times. Some of it will cut cleanly, but other times it's really gnarly and got a lot of those knots in it. It's just tough to split, unlike, you know, the red oak and white oak for the most part. It's really nice and easy to split. Uh, seen a pile of water, uh, water oak right here, guys, or swamp oak, as some people like to call it. Got a really big pile, about as tall as I am. Uh, it splits pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if for those of you who don't know, I've uh, been watching me, just started watching. I have a little side firewood business and uh, I've been doing this since November. But anyway, I got a lot of wood here uh, directly behind me. And that's what I was splitting, this pecan. I uh, see that's the new pecan I split earlier. And uh, I got white oak and red oak beyond the white oak. Also brought several pallets in. Uh, my buddy Steven let me know they had a load of pallets at UPS for me to come get but uh but anyway he ended up bringing i think it was 14 pallets so 
those things always come in handy in the wood yard. But yeah, y'all, uh, I was able to do straw at my HOA. Uh, I did two, we did two uh, pressure washing jobs and I'll get some video of, I'll put on the video and uh, finished the landscape job for my neighbor, Miss Annette and Liz. Uh, I think they're happy with it. it. Turned out good and I got some video there too, but yeah. And uh, obviously finished out the day at the wood yard. All great things to do when it's wet. Uh, obviously I really too wet to mow today. Ended up raining some more in the afternoon. So my point of the video is just to make sure that you're not just sitting at home on days that it's you know wet outside because there are things you can do to make money uh, when it's when the grass is too wet, you know the ground's too wet and whatnot. You don't want to be tearing people's yards up. But yeah, pressure washing, straw, mulch, and for me, obviously the firewood, uh, splitting wood is a great, great thing to do when it's a little too wet to mow grass and whatnot. But anyway, I hope this video is helpful, guys. Uh, also, by the way, I also talked to a new customer, actually the chaplain of Auburn's basketball team, Jeremy. I won't say his last name. So my buddy Steven's watching, uh, he'll like that. We're both big Auburn basketball fans. But anyway, so hopefully uh, that'll work out. It sounds like he's gonna let me start treating the yard and then in the fall, I'll start mowing it. In the fall when the guy that's mowing it now uh, moves away. But yeah, y'all, overall great day. I mean, didn't make a whole lot of money, but made some money and got some stuff done, some things off the list. Uh, jobs that I had uh, pegged for a day like today when it was wet, but. Hope this is helpful and hope you're having a great week and uh, I will talk to you later. Have a good one.